too. Yeah, and Mikey Carey, I think, was particularly good at supplying ball up to the forward line, both stick passing and that hand passing that uh, the hand passing he did for Porrick Walsh that time when Walsh went through. Uh, did you come away as a Kilkenny supporter, a massive Kilkenny supporter, <laughs> thinking that Kilkenny, without TJ Reid now, uh, and to be honest, there was a bit of energy in that forward line, um, which is maybe the upside of, of having a younger lad in there, maybe rather than a 34 to 35 year old lad in there, who's still absolutely, you know, one of the best players in the game and will be guaranteed his position come championship. But there was nice movement and pace around that Kilkenny attack line, I thought. And Owen Cody starting out in the half forward line, he gave Cork awful trouble early in the game. Yeah, just to take up that point that Liam made about the puck outs, I was actually really impressed with um, when they played the balls out to the cornerbacks, even Mikey Butler, who, who maybe it's a doesn't look the most natural kind of first receiver. I thought I thought the twenty or thirty yard stick passes out to the wing were really good. And I, do you know what I really liked is the fact that they always went again. It was it was a kind of triangle movement, like something you'd see from Limerick. They always went to go again. They got themselves on the front foot a lot, and I think that was. Uh, it's hard to know when you're not down there, so I couldn't actually see it. But they couldn't win one of their own puckouts in the last twenty twenty five minutes. Kilkenny could not get their hands on the ball. Just to, to build to bring in the the stats on the puckouts there. So Kilkenny had of their forty puckouts, seventeen of them were short. Okay, so they were all one. Um, how many did they win overall? They won 26 out of 40. So that means they won nine long puckouts, but lost the four, 14 other times when they went long. And I would safely say the vast majority of them happened in the last 15 or 20 minutes when they couldn't get their hands on the ball. But before that, at different stages, Massey Keown looked very dangerous. He, you know, he, he took Darryl O'Leary really, really well. For, for that goal um, I thought at times in the first half Keane Kenny was really really good looked comfortable was then kind of kind of just pushed out with a small bit maybe maybe in the second half but definitely a lot of signs of progress I would say tactically in Kilkenny and a lot of signs of new faces kind of stepping into their breach a small bit 